Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me for devotion again this morning. I'm sorry, but the microphone, the Bluetooth microphone we ordered is worse than my cell phone microphone. I don't know what happened there. It had 4.3 stars or something like that. And it's just awful. It's really bad. So, needless to say, we are going to return that. Uh, we'll try to return it at least. But the good that came out of that is that I found this passage in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. And we're going to look at verse 13 to 15. For such men are false prophets, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. And so it is no surprise then his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. Now, maybe it's a bit extreme to call a bad purchase <laughs> unrighteousness. But it got me thinking a little bit. How often do we as a church look at things that seem like they are good, that seem beneficial perhaps to the church, that seem like they might help us understand God better, or help us build our faith a bit better. Think of some of these charismatic teachers we see online where it's all feel-good messages. And I think, wow, maybe this Christianity thing isn't so bad. Maybe I'm not doing so bad because pastor ever said that it's okay to feel like this, or it's okay to sin and not feel so bad about it, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, these things are going to lead to our downfall. These things seep into our hearts. They seep into the church and they destroy it from the inside out. Think of Samuel when he went to go and anoint David. He wasn't looking for David. He was looking for one of the tall, handsome, strong sons of Jesse. And God brought David along and he said, I don't look at the outward. I look at the inward. And just because we are human and we do tend to look at the outward doesn't give us the excuse not to look at the inward. In fact, God has shown us what is right. God has shown us what he requires. God has shown us what he has said and what he has revealed. So we've got no excuse to get stuck with the outside stuff. We need to look inside as well. Because if we're stuck with the outside stuff, we're going to see apostles. Inside they're false, but outside they look correct. We're going to see righteousness, which is actually unrighteousness disguised as righteousness. We're going to see an angel of light. And behind that facade is actually Satan. You know, when, when Adam and Eve sinned, they didn't lose their human characteristics. They didn't lose their capacity to be human. Their spirit was cut off from God, but they retained their human form. And we can only presume that that's the same thing that happened when Satan and his uh, fallen angels rebelled against God. They kept their angelic characteristics. That's why Satan comes to us as an angel of light. He's not going to come as this deviled beast or this horned beast rather that we see in, in modern, well not modern, but historical depictions and artistic depictions. He's not this horned beast. He's an angel of light. He's kept his angelic characteristics. And if he can do something where people aren't going to say, ah, there's the devil, let's stick away. If he's going to do something like that, he's not doing a good job. But if he can disguise himself, if he can trip us up, if he can manipulate us, if he can confuse us, then that's the best. Because we're going to think we are serving God. We're going to think that we are doing a righteous thing. And at the end of the day, we are just destroying ourselves. We are abusing what God has created and what God has given to us. So we need to be aware. We need to be on guard for angels of light, for unrighteousness disguised as righteousness. And praise God that he's given us his word so that we can tell the difference. Praise God that he's given us his spirit who lives inside of us, who teaches us and guides us, who will help us to spot these errors. So I want to challenge you and encourage you today to be on guard. Let's not get tripped up by these little things anymore, or big things if they are as well. But let's not get tripped up by these angels of light. So often there's an attitude, there's a new technology, there's a new perspective, there's a new um, good-looking thing that comes our way. And we think, yes, that's what God is. That's, that's what we want God to be. And at the end of the day, it's just our own hearts. It's a, it, it exposes our own 
human sinful nature in that we look for the pretty things we look for the shiny objects but the shiny objects can't give us salvation the good things can't can't go for the sinful condition they can't cure this sinful condition we have only the blood of jesus can do that only through jesus christ can we get to the father and so i want to say to you stick with him stick with what god has said be able to point out where things are going where god said don't go or things that are happening that god hasn't told us to let happen or you know what i'm saying those disguised things those manipulative things this world this the generation of this world is shrewder jesus said they're more shrewd than the generation of light is talking about his own disciples at the time the world is more shrewd than us in many cases we need to be on guard there's no excuse for us to be ignorant but we have to have a battle plan ready we have to have our defenses up so that we can stand on truth and righteousness stand for truth and righteousness and spot proper truth and righteousness discard everything that is just disguising itself as that masquerading as as something that's wonderful and is good for faith but is actually just the devil who is an angel of light let's be on guard let's stand on his word and let's be able to spot those falsehoods let's not order the <laughs> faulty microphones any longer amen let's pray Father God, thank you for your word to us this morning. Thank you for reminding us that you are truth and righteousness, that you have shown us what is truth and righteousness. Thank you that we don't have to be left unsure, that we don't have to be uncertain and we don't know what is right and what is not right, and so we fall for things. Because you have shown us what is good, you have shown us what is right. Thank you that your spirit guides us and teaches us and helps us to spot out false doctrine. Forgive us where we've fallen for so many things and please help us, we pray, to stand on your word, to spot the falsehoods so that we may, able to, we may be able to protect our hearts as well as those around us who might be looking to us, that we might protect those under our care too. We might be faithful to you and to your word, standing up for truth and righteousness as you have declared it. Thank you for your help. Thank you for looking after us. Thank you that you have gone before us. We bless you and give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.